Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. The living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know, and music. The Song of the Sands, he called it. Gone now. And that was good. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but... The Dark Elves get on best they can. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, <laughs> that one. One less feathery spy. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there.
There's a gap in the fence over there. Very clever. Behind you! Let me bust up the back to the wood! They smell awful. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. <sighs> Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. To beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, <laughs> there are probably more tributes to find. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. I'll go first. Petraeus! Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. 
Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah. And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Maybe you can throw those back at them! on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. Mm. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine awaits. Temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. 
These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends! Salutations! We mean you no harm. Tear! Get back! want the souls and the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
Why not simply hold it in place? Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the Light Elves with so much control over the temple. If that's on us, they must have anointed a new temple guardian. Svartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. Timing must be precise.
This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. We can continue up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Lightor! Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the castle, Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Ah, oh, the Nornir. Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norns, nor do I wish to try. <laughs> They don't make it easy, do they? And here we go again. Strike ball of light coming your way. Oh! <laughs> 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield, but that angle isn't gonna work. Gapa! Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now. And we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. Go! Must be a way to move this statue's twilight stone to get the right angle. Statue keeps getting stuck on the wing.
Oh, I see it now. The wings are connected back here. Look, up there. Here, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Sparta. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Job, brother. This way. We're almost there. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There. The central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's 
trough. I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came. I thought all the dark elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? 
My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
Four more arrive. Up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Ah! 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 
She's using the light to heal herself. Here? Are you okay? No. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Ah! Hold on! Over here! Your chase! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Can they just leave us alone? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
We need to get out of here. Through here! Can we leave now, please? 
Almost there. This way. Here. We open the gateway, please. yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. the desert will keep. Well, I hope Tyr's had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it? Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Well then, what else, friends? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... familiar. Hmm. Please come back any time. Oh, sorry, that's it. Yeah, that's... we're done. <laughs> Go away now. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. I'm glad you're in a better mood. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. You know what he's putting in that so-called stew of his, don't you? Vegetables! Fucking vegetables from out of the dirt. That just ain't right. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. Address. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. 
We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I'm counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... To use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! 
What do you want? Let's go, Duma! I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Where are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. <coughs> Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh. Hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Ugh. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's, I don't know, sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Ah! Uh. <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here?
I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> ah! The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. <laughs> 